Where in the world am I? This is Stephen Brown, somewhere in Southwest Florida, Lee County Extension Service. And I'm here in the midst of this growth of vine just to show you what happens when you let things get out of control. The subject of our discussion today is an invasive vine called the ear potato. It came originally out of Asia, made landing in Africa, and eventually wound up here in southwest Florida and throughout South Florida. It is an invasive we don't want to tolerate. What is it good for? Well, absolutely nothing, at least here where I'm standing. This is a potato. This is an ear potato. This tuber was produced on the ground. This one was produced above ground on a vine and thus the name ear potatoes. Both were produced vegetatively. In other words, no pollination, no flowers took effect. No birds, no beads are needed to propagate these. Here is how to identify this plant. The leaf is big and heart shaped long petiole. Problem comes with these aerial tubers and they will get bigger. Let me show you where they begin their life. This is where life begins for the ear potato. These aerial tubers are formed at the leaf axle where the leaf meet the vine or the stem itself and as you can see, let's, let's follow my finger upwards, at each node, each leaf axle, we do see a new ear potato emerging. Imagine, thousands of these are possible on any single vine. The impact will be incredible because they just don't stay here. As the tuber matures, what happens is quite often the leaves fall apart and with time these will fall to the ground. There's a bigger one. And when this is on the ground, this will produce shoots and roots and then we have a new plant. It is not a good idea. The ear potato is a fast grower, up to eight inches a day. Can you imagine for something that doesn't move, no matter how tall it is, 70 feet, even more, what can happen in a season if the ear potato vine is allowed to grow, grow rampant without any control? Let me demonstrate. Time for a nap. Ah. Ah. This is what happens after only a short time. This is a task to get out of here. It takes the strength of Hercules to free yourself from this vicious entanglement. It is like the Burmese python around your very body. I can't believe I got free of this. <sighs> this air potato is an opportunistic fellow. It's climbing on this thickened vine here, follow it up, and it's reached its target some 30 feet or more above ground up into the oak tree. That's where there's another battle going on. Who will survive? The oak or the air potato? There you see the cabbage palm battling the exotic invader. It's basically smothering the cabbage palm. Who do you think will win? Take a look at this Spanish bayonet, another native plant. You can clearly see what's happening to the bud. This vine is literally choking, choking the bud and it can't be good for this plant. We all know that the potato is edible, but what about the ear potato? It is said to be eaten in West Africa as almost a staple. Remember, it's related to the yam. 
Let's have a bite. Bitter aftertaste. It may be edible, but it's something that you got to cook. That's my menu suggestion for today. Don't try it. So now you know something about the invasive ear potato. Take care not to introduce something in your neighborhood that should not be there. Until next time, there is always something new to learn in the landscape.